So when I was a kid, when I was like nine, before we really started, I was selective mute, which is like, I was really, really shy. I didn't really want to talk to people. It, it gave me a lot of anxiety. Whereas through the first program, I've had the opportunity to talk to judges and talk to adults. It's something I really, really like to do. We're up in Homebush for the first robotics competition for the South Pacific Regional. In FIRST Robotics, you are given a set challenge at the beginning of a six-week build season and you build your robot for six weeks when you bag it up and send it away and then you go and compete with multiple other teams from all over the world trying to get a spot in Houston. We are Complete Chaos Inc and we're from Helensburg which is about an hour and a half south of Sydney. Um, Helensburg is like an old school mining town and it's really into like sports and like the coal mines and stuff and for us like as Complete Chaos it's a really cool thing that we have like this opportunity to share robotics and this inspiration and passion for robotics with all these young kids from a typically mining town. Our club Complete Chaos formed in 2011 as like a hobby club. The kids grew older and stuff. We added on first Lego League and that was a really, really cool challenge for us. We really enjoyed it. I was nine years old when we started that, so little kid. <laughs> and we went, we went all over. We went to Spain and America for that. It was really, really fun. And then obviously as the students from that group grew older, we also added on top FRC, which is the higher level robots that we're doing here at this competition today. So when you walk down onto the stage and you're getting ready to play, it's crazy. Like there's so much excitement, there's so much going on. The people cheering and then there's like people dancing and there's horns and chants. And but when you actually get onto the field and you've got everything set up and you're just waiting, it's really crazy. Like you feel so anxious, but like also really excited. It's a really cool feeling. It's like, it's like a sports game. You know, you've planned it out, you're ready. Like, it's really exciting because anything could happen during those matches. So you got every single match, like no matter how good you think you are or how, you know, ready you feel, you've got that like tension, that excitement because you never know what's going to happen. Six, five, seven, nine, oh yeah! So we're currently in the qualification stages and eventually we're going to alliance selections. So we need to be ranked eighth to get in to be an alliance captain, but we can be any rank to be picked. Pretty much what we want you to do is just get rid of the one that you get from starting and then go defend and then get back for that 30 seconds climb. Yeah. They're not gonna climb, just come park. You have to park. Oh well, what can we do? We must have got heaps of fouls. So we have made the top eight in this competition due to some uncontrollable factors. So now we're trying to shop around for teams that will take us in for the playoffs. We are just wondering if there's something you want us to do for the next match as well. Um, Plus the uh, last game you, you guys lost a lot of points. Yeah, yeah the, the other team. Yeah, because I think there are two, two teams over there, right? Oh no, the other team, their radio fell out and uh, so they were ex out of their frame perimeter. That's what the referee told us. So basically the way it works is the teams 1 to 8 can pick um, their two teams that they want to play with. And so we're talking to all the top teams to try and make sure that we get picked. Um, so that's talking about what do they want to see from us, what do they want us to try and do to make sure that we are the best robot that we can be for them. So we'll try and make sure that no one else gets in our way this time okay, okay. and we'll defend for half the match. Yeah, and uh, I also say that you guys do the hatch and the balls. Yeah, yeah so we can do hatches, yeah, balls, yeah, yeah. we can do everything but climb kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. So, uh, We'll make sure to play heaps of defense for you and hopefully it pays off. Okay, okay, awesome. we'll definitely have a look and good luck. For sure, thank you. I think like being in like first has done some really awesome things. There's so many. So we started with, it gives you more context for what you're doing in school. So like when you're sitting in a class and you're learning maths and you're like, oh, this is so boring. Whereas like when you actually have something to apply it to, something that's cool and something that you really enjoy, it makes you actually want to learn more and it makes you more engaged in your classwork. So I think that's been something really cool for our students is it gives you like, you know, a goal and something to actually put into practice and then also it's learning real like tech stuff it's you know we're working with engineers and we're working with like real people who are in the industry and we're learning so much from them every day best robot in Australia there it is 
So like for us, we were so inspired by all of the people who we would meet at the competitions. And now we go back and we volunteer at multiple competitions and like we do everything. So we're refereeing, we're judging, we're emceeing, we're you know leading all the dancers and playing with all the little kids and getting them inspired about the like first and robotics and all of this stuff. It's really, really cool. So irrelevant of whether we win or lose, it's still been a great season. We've learned so much, we've met so many people, and the first robotics experience is just totally worth it, no matter whether you make it to Houston or not. Team 7433, there's a lot of cells on this spreadsheet. There are a lot of cells. What are they telling you? They're telling me that we're going to be complete chaos. You attack the right side, yeah. we'll attack the left side, and we'll swap. Yep. Yeah. And this is all 3D printed? This 3D printed, this is not a high stress area, so... Yeah. The high stress area is like spacers, I'm, I don't see why not. We're doing a hatch, uh, Iona's doing a hatch, and they're doing a ball. Yeah, we're good. Alright, let's go. We got this. So we've been playing really well these last few matches. We're going into the finals really positive. Um, we've got a really strong strategy, uh, amazing defense bot, and two that are really good at scoring points. Um, we're just we're just going to hold on, see what we can do. Finals, here we go. I know it's crazy. Good luck, good luck, good luck, good luck, good luck, good luck, good luck. Oh, love it. Okay. So we're going hatches, they're going balls, and they are going defense. Let's go. You guys have got this. Let's do it. Six, three, six. Yep. That's the way, Jaya. That's the way. Go balls. Go balls in there. Go balls. That's it, Jaya. Well done. Come here, and we're going front, front cargo ship. It's going to be close, no matter what happens. So they got nine more points at the end of the game. It's all good. Bring it what in. can Bring you it. do? Hey, it's all good. Sorry yeah. about it. Bring it in. Okay. We had a really strong alliance. We just couldn't pull it together at the end. So we had a good strategy. We did everything we could. But right at the end, one of our robots tipped over. And you can never predict what's going to happen. It doesn't look like we're going to be making it to the US this year. We've had a really good season, we did all that we possibly could, but in the end it just didn't quite work out. 
If we don't get a qualifying award or a wild card, that'll be the end of our season. We lost the finals and we're super gutted because, you know, so much goes into the strategy and, you know, working with your alliance and there's always random factors that will come in, like the other team's defence and, you know, a robot broke down and the client didn't work. So, you know, we played the game as well as we could have and we're super proud of how we did, but, yeah, pretty gutted about the finals. <laughs> This team has designed their machine to play and win the game, even if half of it were to be blown off. Guided by a $10 cat toy laser, we are proud to announce the winner of the Excellent in Engineering Award to team number 6579! We can't believe it, we've just won the wild card and we're going through to the US. All of our hard work has finally paid off over the six week build season and the last week competition. We're finally going to Houston and we're going to compete with teams from all over the world now. I'm so stoked, I'm really really excited to go to Houston with our whole team and participate there in front of like all of the world's best FRC teams, it's going to be so crazy, I'm really excited. Yeah.